Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this recording. In this recording, I'm going to be covering how to achieve a net $200 a day plus per contract trading the Day Traders Fast Track program strategies. Now, this is going to be part one of two parts. The second part, I'll go into much more depth with the strategies actually on the charts and that video will probably go a good hour to maybe an hour and a half so this one I'll try to keep as short as possible just as a quick introduction so the purpose of this video the reason I decided to record this video is I introduced uh, what I'm about to show you on the slides to some members in our live training room and from that a number of members asked me if I'd actually record it so they could review it in their own time and take their time in going over some of the key discussion points so I've decided to record it but I'm going to uh, allow all members to see this recording because I, it really doesn't matter whether you're trading futures Forex or stocks exactly what I'm about to cover here all the key points are applicable I should say to all of those markets so I do need to mention the risk and of course as members you've seen this disclaimer on every one of our videos if you haven't read it for some time uh, please review it now if you're not sure about the live training room we do run four days a week 8 a.m. till 11 a.m. it's $97 a month for no long-term contracts you can just join for one month or for 12 months whatever you want to do it's month by month and it's basically if you look at it, it's less than six dollars a day for real-time coaching where you're watching listening asking questions as trade set up in real time and you can join via the link in the members area or visiting the home page and clicking on the buy now or you can email me directly so let's now get into this so this was what I presented now you can actually download this sheet so I've actually got it uh, in a tab I've opened up a tab bar, a, a folder on my website on the Google Drive I should say called target 200 so you can actually download this in a word document and what I recommend you do is you download it and tailor it to suit your trading plan remember less is best the less rules the um, less information you've got to digest as you trade uh, it just makes it a lot easier now for newer members as a reminder you'll find the cheat sheets for the top strategies in the folder called cheat sheets you'll find it there uh, you then got um, uh, the trading strategies folder where you've got all the vi videos contained within there this section this folder I should say and remember the strategy powerpoints where we've got the top powerpoints for our top strategies there as well and just one more the new member download so you'll find all of these in the new member downloads as well so let's now get back to the key points here so target 200 now in the trade room we're focused on CL we'll look at uh, uh, the ES as time permitting and the NQ and sometimes we'll look at the euro but we're really focused on the ES so if you wanted to net 200 a day what you need really is five five tick trades a day of course on CL it's ten dollars a tick so five by 50 is 250 less this rounded up to five dollars commission that's around 225 or four six tick trades a day or three eight ticks a day or two eleven ticks a day uh, trades so how would you achieve two by eleven well what I'd recommend is you're looking for a t20 or the t20 dash ones because that's going to signify a new trend in nearly every case so you're going to be able to achieve a much higher target if you're on a t20 or straight after a t20 so I've just turned my PowerPoint on my little light like, yellow highlighter so hopefully it'll make it a little easier as well so the golden rule is to follow the gold and of course something that we continually reinforce in the room and with members with emails to members follow the gold you want to have a trending 34 EMA so the question that you want to be asking yourself as you're trading continually is t20 do I have a t20 now this of course can be a standalone strategy you'll find your best t20s are after a great divergence trade or after a t3 so if you've got a great divergence trade or just had a great t3 
you could trade a t20 as a standalone trading strategy you just want to make sure though it's not an overly extended move that is that your entry point is too far away or, or a fair distance away from your 34 just be aware of that of course if you want to play it safe you wait for a t20-1 with anchor chart confirmation that is you want to wait for your first pullback after a t20 now the challenge with that if you wait for that to happen every time uh, you can miss out sometimes on a great run so it's really it's a trade-off just got to be aware of that now I've got a why no I recommend a, a yes if it stands for a, a yes or a no and what that means is as your trades are setting up on the chart so you can eventually develop what I call uh, the blink uh, um, notification or that is you can look at the chart in a blink of an eye get used to typing up next to the setup what type of setup it was and put a yes or a no if the AC confirmed the anchor chart uh, and that will just get you in the habit of looking at the anchor chart to confirm the trade now I've got there also a confirmation or, or a statement there the Stanson's is go for a larger profit target that is with both the t20 and the t20-1 because they're signifying a new trend in nearly every case that is where you can actually increase your profit target and maybe consider going for your 11 ticks now then we get down to the t1 the super scalp scalper now we've got the super scalper coded for trade station and ninja trader and of course it is done I think also on mt4 so remember the niche the, the super scalper is just a pattern so I'll cover this in more detail for those that don't have the t1 the super scalper now for some traders they will trade the super scalper as a standalone trading strategy within itself but remember the super scalper will get you in later than say a standard 34b or a t25 because it plots later right because you remember you're waiting for two higher closes then a tick beyond those two higher closes so it is a delayed reaction however when you have the white candle plots uh, for some traders I really like that as a visual confirmation now some traders as I mentioned will take that just as a standalone uh, and the best markets to trade the t1 super scalper are on trending markets when you've got a, a market with really good volatility or that trends really well the next one here is the 21b so remember all of these trades traders are to achieve your 200 and one thing I really should have said this is particularly relevant to the new traders like here we're looking at six to eight different trade trading strategies kickoff with the 34b and the 89 focus on just the 34 and the 89 master those make sure that you've got anchor chart confirmation uh, and if you stay on the right side of the 34b that is if you've got a, an uptrending 34 price sections above we're looking for longs and we have a trend in a downtrending 34 price action is under the 34 we're looking for shorts that will keep you on the right side of a ledger and when you've got your 34 B's you're able to go for your four your four six ticks a day and as you know on CL there's at least 10 to 20 of those in every trading session there's a ton of them and of course you may choose to then if you're going to take a 34 B fairly quickly after a t20 go for your eight ticks so once again after a period of time you'll get to find out which of the best targets and of course we cover this in the training room as well so 21b uh, it's a great strategy there are thousands of traders around the world that use the 21 uh, for a, a trade confirmation you'll find your most accurate is the 34 so you've got your 21 your 34 your 89 because your 200b is a deeper pullback okay you'll quite often find there that it's almost becoming a counter trend trade and that's where you've just got to really learn to watch for those if your 200b has formed with a, a high high or a, or a lower low um, that is you're taking out lows or highs um, uh, to the downside or upside and once again I'll cover this properly in session two you just got to be more cautious now one trade 
that we have a, a name for we call it the bet the farm trade is your t7 and even your t19 with the trend when you have a t7 or a t19 in the direction of the anchor chart uh, and your existing trend right they're what we call bet the farm trades they're great setups once again members where we say bet the farm trades we still operate within your normal risk parameters uh, your normal money risk parameters but there are great 80 85 percent trade overall if not better they're just a fantastic trade unfortunately you're only going to get two to four of these per trading session okay so you don't get them every 10 minutes say like the 34 B's you quite often get but they're a fantastic trade so with them and the t19 as we know with the t19 uh, and even with the t7 both of these can be counter trend trades so double tops and double bottoms and divergence can be counter trend trades very much so we get lots of them every trading session but when you've got them in the direction of the overall trend they're just a fantastic trade and of course let's not forget the old floor pivot pivot trader strategy or the old floor trader strategy I should say the t25 your two to five candle pullbacks with anchor chart confirmation they're also a great trade and last of all this can border on being or it can be I should say rather than border it can be a counter trend trade as well the 200 EMA overshoot on the entry chart which works out to be usually an 89b on the anchor chart I need to show you this uh, I've been showing members in the room and it's just a very very good trade once again a solid trade so if we look at all of these uh, you've got tons of opportunities once again if you're after your 5x5 five five or your 4x6 net trades and let's be realistic okay to, to take to uh, get your five net you may need to execute eight to ten trades a day because you uh, eight to ten trades because you are going to have losses that is a reality but if you look at then your 34s and 89 you get once again you romp 10 to 20 to 30 of those a day in to it'll easily achieve those sorts of goals the secret is there traders is discipline let's go and have a look at the next slide so this specifically I presented uh, for our traders uh, on CL so this is relevant to our black gold traders the CL traders so uh, oh, well most of this is but I should point out a few other things aren't like where are the pivots I love the floor pivots and I refer to them every trade but what you've got to be aware of is that if a floor pivot is just off your screen and say you uh, enter a trade you could have a floor pivot bounce so you've got to be aware of that uh, so remember we want to be very very cautious in selling into support or buying into resistance let me say that again you want to be very cautious about selling its support or buying into resistance and that's where I want to know where my pivots are I also want to know where my round numbers are on CL where's a $45 a barrel 4647 because time and time again you'll bounce off those particularly if you test them for the first or second time of the day if you've tested them and, and gone through them for three or four times during the day all right it's not so relevant so drawing horizontal lines and I'll show you on the um, chart video when I go into that what I do I draw it in a light gray line and it just makes it uh, very visual and as a reminder that hey we've got to be careful here there's a good possibility we'll get a bounce just like a pivot bounce the other key area and thanks to one of our members David has really put us on this how good the 20 cent and 80 cent levels are I'll cover this once again for members in the video uh, draw in the horizontal lines okay very powerful we've also got some very powerful uh, turn times I'll cover these in the videos and the other things you want to be doing is particularly on your anchor chart is to be drawing in your channels your trend lines your wedges ascending and descending triangles when you've got these happening the market is coiling the energy is building and when you glance over to your anchor anchor chart on the right if you've drawn in your channels it's very easy to visually see what is happening uh, or what is your trend direction now remembering of course you sell the highs you buy the lows when it comes to channels now we may only get 
two or three good channels a day but they're very handy to draw in and I also love the ascending and descending triangles because it really shows you when the market is coiling now you may not know the exact time when you're going to have a breakout but at least gives you a head up at hey be alert something may be happening now if you're keen as a divergence trader you want to do better than 200 a day much much better perhaps you want to build counter trend trading divergence trading into your trading arsenal however let me raise the red flag until you are consistently profitable do not even consider divergence trading put it aside or if you are consistently profitable and you'd like to have a what I call a stress-free life um, where it's a lot less challenging yes at times it may be a little boring but hey we're in it to make money aren't we okay put your divergence trading aside however we do have a lot of traders that love their divergence trading so what's the best of the best number one the best counter trend trades have great angulation and of course with all my videos you hear me talking about angulation really it's it's just so critical because if you've got a channel and if the market is in a really tight channel for an example and your counter trend trading or divergence trading there's a chance you're going to be smashed so you've got to be very careful of those channels how wide or narrow it is if you're in a tight upwards trading range you may get um, a lot of divergence trading signals to go short or to go long or whatever but you'll be stopped time and time again and if you enter a divergence trade and you're just above or below or pivot you didn't see that the market will stop you into the trade then rally up past you and stop you out we see this every day in the room you've got to be aware of that so back on the trades do you have a double divergence to 2d now we've got an excellent uh, PowerPoint and there's some great videos on the 2d's in the uh, members area there under PowerPoints or do I have a 1d that is just one divergence uh, and usually the one D I'm referring to is on the anchor chart your higher time frame do you have a true t19 do you have a true t3 do you have a true counter trend double top double bottom t7 so the difference is chalk and cheese that is with the t7s if you've got a double top or double bottom in the direction of both your entry chart and your anchor chart as we call it bet the farm once again I say that um, um, what's the word for it I don't want to say lovingly <laughs> affectionately but um, we always stay within our money management rules because even though it's a great trade you've got to really stay within those rules uh, another great trade is the 535 B's and so do we have a 535 because they are fantastic overall divergence trades but once again traders um, when you're first new what you really want to do is to really focus on mastering the trend trade start with your 34 89 B's and build from there you do want to learn your t20s and your t20-1s because they'll signify a new trend and of course if you've got a new trend you can go for a high higher profit target so I'm going to go into each one of these in session two on the chart so just before we sign off once again you can join the live room for only $97 a month which is less than six dollars a day for live coaching uh, and remembering you can apply what we cover in the live room to any market so you'll learn the setups mainly trading oil but you can go and apply it to Forex you can apply it to every other market now if this video has been forwarded to you by a member um, which is naughty naughty they shouldn't have uh, you can also request one of my training oh, actually I've got two manuals you can go to my website uh, the download link is in the description below this video you can request my free training manual and you can request the truth about day trading so traders just one more thing as we sign off what is really important is you've got to treat this as a journey give yourself 30 60 90 180 days to master this all of these setups here that you can see here you can develop where you'll recognize them in a blink of the eye but what happens is when you or many traders when they first invest in the day traders fast track program they look at all the setups and they want to trade them all because there's so many great setups but big mistake 
as Mark Douglas says in his great book the disciplined trader find one strategy that's preferably uh, mechanical and pattern based and when you take virtually every one of these trades what are they they're mechanical they're rules based and they're pattern based patterns are easy for us to learn so give yourself time be kind to yourself and don't be overwhelmed when you're trying to learn these focus on just a couple right master those that is what I call own it once you own that strategy you look at the chart blink of an eye ah there's a 34 B or there's a t7 with trend right then you know you're ready to start mastering or looking to master your next setup so traders I hope you got some information out of this video session two uh, which is for members only I will go into greater depth as I said it may be a 90 minute could even run out to two hours if it's that long I'll probably break it into maybe session three we will go to the charts so um, room members I know how important this is so hopefully I've covered the initial questions cover a whole lot more on session two thank you what for watching traders